to my YouTube channel Elliot Wave Principal. I'm your host Shaheen. Um, million dollar question. We were expecting gold and silver to come down. It has come down. The main question is are they going to uh, complete going to go up? Is the pattern complete? The labeling is in front of you. Um, first of all the larger swing has not changed in gold and silver. We are going to discuss the forecast in today. Let's try to look at uh, gold and then we look at silver now one thing that I had normally mentioned and uh, but I will mention it here the analysis techniques that are in, uh, involved that I use is not only contained just on Elliott wave analysis so what are you going to see whatever you're going to see on is not only the result of Elliott wave analysis but it also combines some of WD GAN methodologies and then some portions of Elliott wave analysis and other technical uh, studies that were developed by WD GAN himself so here's the thing first of all the uh, the bulls don't have to be uh, really worrying thinking that okay gold is probably going to drop from over here the good news is that gold is expected to come all the way over here and create another top just like with this one uh, normal one very important uh, rule that GAN gave is that um, whenever there are three tops the fourth top would actually normally most often would penetrate and whenever there are triple bottoms then fourth bottom would normally make the prices to go through so what a, why is the reason that we are expecting for gold to go and stop find resistances here if you look at that rule that rule says that the data should be many weeks apart so in this case the fourth top is basically the same as third top that's the reason that we are not going to consider it as a fourth top but we are going to consider both of them as one top right over here so since we can see there's a lot of time di difference between the two tops so these are valid tops as per that GAN rules and similarly with these two as well but with this one we are not expecting that this is going to be a fourth top technically it is but not as uh, as what GAN said so I am expecting for gold to create a top and we have a date as well and gold is expected to create a top on 26th of September so next five to six weeks are um, we're expecting uh, for gold to go all the way up over here and uh, create the fifth uh, complete the fifth wave and I'm expecting this is the resistance we are going to look the last one uh, right over here is 2080 right now we are at 1890 so about 190 dollars uh, per ounce in, in left now the main important point here is the main important point a lot of uh, people are going to see this and going to get involved in uh, gold miners and silver miners because silver is going to go move quite a bit we'll look at silver as well so a word of caution let's say if you are not interested in my advice then no worries but just wait for the prices to penetrate through come down and then go up again when it cre when it creates the higher top and then it comes down and then crosses that again that is the time to ensure that the overall trend is yet bullish so we are expecting for the good five six weeks uh, five point five six weeks of price movement on the upper side right over here uh, to 2080 in and after that I'm expecting gold to drop significantly towards around 1200 ish area in a matter of few months so a dramatical price reversal is expected uh, if you guys have seen the uh, or remember the price drop that we saw in crude oil something on the similar lines is expected it's not going to go to zero but so much uh, dramatic price movement is expected uh, for gold towards 1200 ish area let's have a look at the weekly chart so we can actually see uh, what I'm talking about what is this uh, I think it, there was a button here okay so we are expecting around 1150 ish area in this region it could be around this region so this is a very important support zone towards the lower end this lower end is very important for the price of gold to happen and I'm expecting uh, I would be able to give a date I'm looking into uh, quite a bit of historic data I'm digging into it so that process is going on but that is I'm quite confident that we are going to look at uh, we are going to find a bottom uh, for gold in 2024 so this is not going to be 2025 I think uh, I gave it uh, let's say uh, keep it at August 2024 so you can see how much uh, how much lesser time period we have and how much price action we are expecting so 
quite a bit of dramatic price expect uh, price drop is expected in gold and this top that I'm talking about that top we have a date for it that top now and that is 26 uh, 26 uh, September let me go back on a daily chart yeah sept September 26 we are expecting a top and then we can take a bearish position this is a very good uh, call for it the silver <coughs> we are expecting the bullish move toward up it we have seen the the bearish move so um, I believe the bottom is in if not we might come a bit down as well but I think the bottom is in already so we are expecting for silver to be bullish in the next five to six weeks uh, we have two potential uh, targets. The first target is 2850. If we can easily penetrate through it uh, for the same time duration, that is uh, September 26. In that case, we can easily penetrate through it. The next target is 3150. Oh, so that's an important one. Is the next target would be 31. If we cannot go through, uh, the, this is the first target. And there is a quite possibility silver normally is volatile. You can see that uh, silver moves quite significantly right over here and right over here so a similar move is expected and it can actually push the prices to 3150 if not we are expecting prices to hold at 2850 and after that we are expecting a similar behavior in silver as well so we are expecting and uh, that uh, somewhere around august 2020 uh, 24 uh, we are expecting a uh, the, i will confirm the date once again but in a general for a, a guideline purposes we are expecting a clearly bearish outlook after that and we are going to uh, see a revisit of this bottom as well right over here so that's our target uh, on the bearish side so be really careful uh, with especially with the with the mining stocks as well gold and silver mining stocks because silver is going to go up a lot so we're going to see quite a bit of movement uh, in in quite a few stocks uh, I normally let's have a look at GDX if you can quickly look at it if uh, any of you guys are interested in looking at GDX <coughs> all right we need to see at the daily data So a top is expected towards uh, this one right over here. We are expecting a top. It can once again push a bit higher, but I'm expecting another top right over here. So this pattern, which is ABC pattern, you can see we have created a new low here in GDX. Uh, so we're expecting a new top in uh, by the date that we are, have, we are seeing 26 September. Uh, Wheat and Precious Metal is one of the stocks that I personally am trading right now. Once again, the prices are expected to go up from prime over here and create a double top right over here. Let's say, uh, yes, I'm expecting a, a top. We can see a lower top with this one right over here because of the previous swing that we can see there is not much strength in it. Uh, we have fallen quite a bit from the top, so we can see, actually see that the lower top is indicated. In that case, we will consider this as an impulsive. But once again, um, uh, wheat and pressure is expected to create a jump right over here, most probably creating a double top uh, right with, with the previous old one right over here. There are now s the, some um, the mining stocks which are actually trading towards the lower end of the band. So uh, I'm still working on them. Um, th this is what I'm expecting that we are to see a jump right from over here, a double creating a double top with this one right over here. Um, like Matala is in front of you so we are going to see a bullish movement in either case and then a bearish move is, exp is expected I hope that I was able to provide some help wish you good luck with your trading keep in mind 26 September we are expected to see a top and after 26 September 2023 uh, a massive massive decline uh, the one for example that we have seen in uh, back in 1929 we saw a major crash in the stock market in 1929 like within a matter of a few months and uh, the picture changed so we are expecting a similar behavior and gold and silver gold being right toward the top end of the range a lot of damage is expected silver nonetheless if imagine silver price of silver dropping from 31 dollars to 10 dollars 
So in terms of percentage, it's going to definitely uh, fall more as compared to gold because silver is expected to go to $30 and then to drop to $10, which is 66% loss. Gold is expected to rise to around uh, 1900 what top you said 2080 and then come back to around 11 so around 1150 is around about 50 percent loss so in terms of percentage silver is going to create more disturbance um, but in terms of money wise gold is create going to create more uh, more disturbance wish you good luck with your trading have a good one and bye bye